Hello guys, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel and today we're going to discuss about classes in Python. So basically classes are the building blocks of Python. Everything you see module and all are initiated from classes only, right? And uh, which lead to object oriented programming. Classes consist of two things, data members and data functions. And data members are basically the variables of those classes and data functions are the function used to manipulate those data members through accessing from uh, the va data variables from data function we can change them right and classes is considered to be the blueprint of an object you can um, init initialize as many objects out of those classes as you got the blueprint in the form of class and you can create so many instances of that particular class considering all the attributes and behavior are shared by the instances of uh, of that particular class so take an example here uh, class variable uh, so it's a class car so in a class car there is an attribute like speed color and price these are the data members and in the behavior you have a start and a stop these are the data functions right so and this class car we initiated the objects like honda bmw maruti nissan these all are instances of this particular class so why first question arise in our mind is why do we need a class so say if there is no concept of class here so what you need to do for a honda you need to uh, declare a list like a speed color price for bmw you need to declare a separate list for maruti separate list for nissan Maru, uh, for nissan separate list and if you have it, uh, so many hundreds and thousands of uh, these objects, then you need to create uh, these different kind of um, list that would be hard to manage. And uh, you also need to uh, introduce a concept of behavior data function. So for this whole thing to be uh, kind of automation means if you declare a instance of a car class, this Honda um, object gonna uh, have access to all these uh, attributes and behavior we uh, introduce the concept of object oriented programming right so it can be said that i made a user defined data structure this is uh, that is class car so whenever i initialize object it gonna contains all the functionalities of this uh, particular class so let's see how we're gonna define a class car right so first of all, I, I, I would like to say like anything you do in Python, like if you declare an integer, a string character, all these are objects of their part, uh, for their respective classes, right? Let's see how if a is 6, I'm declaring an integer and now I'm printing the type of a. That would be class integer, right? And if it is string suppose it is a object of class string right so everything you define in python is made of is uh, is work is working on the concept of object oriented programming so this this is how we define a class now if you see type print type of car type of okay uh, we need to define one object so it would be let's see c car right and if i do c here so as you can see it's a uh, object of car class right so now let's see the creation of the whole car class which we have here so first of all as you have already know there is a constructor in the class that constructor is kind of the first function the first thing which is uh, run when a class is in uh, when object is initialized from the class very from the class variable right so if it uh, my class is a hon my variable is a honda and class is car so no matter what if i define it or not but uh, my constructor is initialized and uh, whatever the functionalities are there in the constructor i'm gonna 
pass those functionalities in my Honda variable Honda object but I don't have it initially it's a implicit like car itself have a, its own constructor we don't need to give it but if we explicitly give a, a constructor then that particular constructor gonna work right so here if I say first I will declare uh, uh, constructor with, with the name def in it so this is the basic method to define a constructor and I'll be taking the speed color and price from the user speed color price right so what is self here? self is a pointer which is pointing to the class class object itself <clears throat> so here the self is pointing to the Honda class variable that is car itself right so for defining I'll be putting speed self dot speed self dot color equals to color self dot price equals to price now there is a difference between self dot speed and speed because speed is the variable we are taking from the user but self dot speed is the class variable means this is the variable of the uh, class which is particularly assigned uh, which is going to be particularly assigned to this Honda Honda object right it is not said to be a class variable but it's an instance variable class variables are always defined outside the uh, what I can say the constructor so these are the instance variables and we HICLE vehicle is our car it's our class variable right now let's see the uh, functions so def we, we're gonna take a start function now here we're gonna take a anything we're gonna we can print uh, car has started right and def stop print car is stopped right now as you want to notice what uh, where the concept of the the access identifier like public private protected gonna work here so that can initially everything would be public here but if you want to make that particular data member or data function to be private you can just add to to underscore bit on that particular variable so these two variables considered to be the private variable they can't be accessed outside this class but this price is public variable public data member it can be accessed outside the class we can access the price from here also right so th this is how we initialized the class now we're gonna give the uh, these variables value because we are explicitly assigning a co constructor here so I'll be giving the speed to be 40 color to be red and uh, price to be 10,000 right so it would be now my Honda is Honda object is created from the car class if I see Honda dot speed yeah, uh, let's do it public only because it was private we can't access it outside the class to get uh, access of the private data members we can use the getter and setter method right and if you see honda dot color it would be red price you can access and for the functions like a start you can check it like this honda positional okay uh, here's the self should be given at every function declaration right car has started stop car is stopped so this is the basic building block of object oriented programming
we're gonna see further more in the upcoming videos so stay tuned for more about object oriented programming pythons thank you so much for joining me here i appreciate your time thank you so much